Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Lave with Century 21 Affiliated. I'm based in our Appleton, Wisconsin office. If you ever need to get a hold of me, if you're thinking of buying and selling, I'm here to help you and get you through that process pretty much pain-free. Today, we're gonna to talk about national real estate market trends uh, as they are through the end of September, 2021. As we all know, home prices have appreciated. As of July, 2021, the FHFA is showing home prices have appreciated by 19.2%. CoreLogic is showing home prices having appreciated by 18%. And the S&P Cash Schiller Index is showing 19.7 home appreciation percentages. This appreciation is largely due to supply and demand. And we've talked about that in the past. We simply do not have enough homes on the market for the demand of our buyers. This causes home prices to rise. There will be a slide that I'll post on my Facebook page on Saturday that shows the appreciation of homes by each state. I encourage you to go out and take a look at that. As a whole, however, the whole United States, the price appreciation in this country is 17.4%. What are experts projecting in 2021? Per Ivy Zellman, it states, Closings are supposed to decline about 10% in the second half of 2021. And home appreciation is on the cusp of flipping to a decelerating trend. Now remember that word, decelerating. It's not depreciation. Decelerating does not mean depreciation. Decelerating just means that homes will appreciate at a slower pace this quarter in 2021 and into 2022. Moving forward in 2022, 2023 and beyond, we will continue to see home appreciation but at a moderate pace of around 5.82% in 2022 and so on. Home prices will not be declining, just appreciating at a slower pace. In 2021 so far, home appreciation has been at 11.74%, and that's through the third quarter. The next three years home appreciation projections 2022 through 2025 is expected to be at about 5.7% each year. Purchasing a home while mortgage rates are still low is a good plan for the home buyer. You will be able to buy more house while interest rates are low. And I'm gonna have another slide on Saturday on my Facebook page that shows home prices and interest rates and what the payments become when the higher interest rates go into effect. Normally, as interest rates rise, the buyer buys less of a home. So if you think prices are gonna go down, they're not. And interest rates we know are gonna go up this next year. Purchasing a home though is still a great financial wealth building mechanism for the majority of Americans. The experts feel there will be an increase of homes on the market this fall due to three things. One, sellers are feeling more comfortable with putting their homes on the market because more people are vaccinated. Two, new construction is taking off again as lumber prices begin to decline. And third, it's the end of the forbearance and that's gonna create some new listings. People may reconsider that the home they have is no longer affordable for them and will put it on the market to sell. This does not mean it's a foreclosure and it does not mean that foreclosures will be increasing. Interest rates are expected to rise. We're starting to see slight increases now. Right now, the 30-year fixed interest rate jumped 
above 3%. As interest rates rise, the home buyer will have to look at homes that are priced less to keep them in an affordable monthly mortgage payment that they feel comfortable with and also qualify for. Fannie, Freddie, MBA, and NAR are projecting interest rates in the third quarter of 2022 to rise to 3.5% and possibly end the 2022 year, that's next year, at 4% interest rate. Remember, right now we are at 3% interest rate. Even though interest rates are projected to rise next year in 2022, home ownership, I can't stress this enough, is still the best way for you to accumulate wealth. DS News states, and I'm gonna read this, home ownership is one of the fundamental keys to accumulating wealth in America. Hence, why it has been integrally linked to achieving the American dream. Not only can owning a home provide a roof over your head and a secure place to live, but because mortgage rates generally remain fixed while rents may rise over time. A home can be very effective hedge against inflation because you have a fixed payment. Home price expectation survey just came out. A $350,000 home over the next five years would appreciate by $111,000 in gained equity based on our forecasted appreciation over the next five years. And that's how you build wealth. I wanna thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can reach me at 920-585-5400 or go to your browser and type in www.connectwithbarb.com or reply to this video. Please feel free to share the video. I'm also on YouTube and this will be on YouTube on Saturday as well. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the day.